What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Fitment Industries Garage. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're just coming back, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. My name's Shells from Fitment Industries, and you're probably watching this because you're on the hunt for some new wheels for your car. Luckily, you've come to the right place. You know, like Fitment is literally in our name, and it's what we do best. Anyway, on today's episode of What Wheels Fit, we are going to be covering one of the oddities, I guess, of Honda that really seemed to take off and really just kind of captured our hearts. You know, every time we see one, makes our days and you know that is the honda crx before we go ahead and get right into the nitty gritty please if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe and of course once you've finished this video and know what wheels are going to fit your crx don't forget who helped you out and hop on over to fitmentindustries.com check out all the wheels tires and suspension options that we have available for honda crx plus many many more anyway so getting started first things first here the fitment range for the honda crx gives us a diameter range of 13 to 17 inches five to seven and a half inches for the width and an offset ranging anywhere from plus 45 to plus 30 so a pretty large range here when it comes down to the different sizes and fitment options that we're going to have within that so what we're going to do is take a look at some of the honda crx's that are sitting in the fitment gallery right now over at fitmentindustries.com and go over specifically you know what they are running for wheels tires and suspension to get a better idea of what certain sizes offsets and tire sizes look like firsthand we are going to start off with some more conservative setups and then work our way up to more crazier and wider setups as we go down the list. So with that being said, let's get into our first CRX of the day, which is going to be this 1991 with some Cosmos Racing XT 206 Rs. Now these have a size of 15 by eight with a plus 30 offset. For tires, we have some Federal SS 595s, 195, 45 for the size, and then lowered on some Skunk 2 lowering springs. With this setup, we can see this car is running a perfect setup to change up the look of the car, but still be very functional. With a slightly tucked fitment and no rubbing issues, it's a pretty solid aftermarket setup for these cars. Next up, we have a super clean red 1990 SI with some XXR 531s. Now this time we are going up in diameter to a 16 inch wheel with this 16 by eight. We are also going down a bit in the offset, giving a little more of aggressive fitment with a plus 20 offset. And for tires, we have some Federal Evolution ST1s, 195.40 for the size, and then sitting on some true heart coilovers. With this setup, we get a nice flush fitment, but with a bit of a tire stretch, and I think it suits these cars pretty perfect. Fenders are rolled to help make some extra room up front and to alleviate any rubbing issues, and there is some camber adjustment as well with the help from a true heart rear camber kit and a Skunk 2 front camber kit. Next up, we have another 1990 SI, but this time with some MST MT11 wheels. These are a 16 by eight with a plus 15 offset, giving us an even more aggressive fitment than the last car. For tires, again, we have some Federal Evolution ST1s, 195 40, seems to be a popular size, and then sitting on some BC racing coilovers. Again, we see some help from the Skunk 2 camber kits, both rear and front, rolled fenders, and then the super low add-on package with the BC racing BR coilovers. All of that giving us another super flush setup on a CRX that looks really, really good. Which is going to lead us to our last car of the day. Unfortunately, there just isn't a ton of CRXs in the gallery at the moment, so if you have one, don't forget to add it to the gallery. Or if you even pick up wheels, don't forget to add it to the gallery too. FitmentIndustries.com forward slash add helps us out a ton. And that's what we use to make these videos to help you guys and help other people find their new wheels. So last CRX of the day is going to be this 1989 SI with some SSR Starform Type D wheels. Now these are pretty crazy on this car with a 15 by nine with a zero offset in the front, a 15 by nine and a half zero offset in the rear. Looking at some Federal all season tires, 165.50 and a 175.50 for the sizes. And then all of this actually sitting static on some coilovers for the suspension choice. Fenders are rolled and fun note, this car is still running its original fender liners, which is actually pretty crazy. Other notes here, probably one of the biggest features of the car is the amount of camber that it's actually running. Here we are looking at a negative 13 degrees in the front and a negative 19 degrees of negative camber in the rear. So all that being said, giving us a static, what you would think be air on this car, but a static CRX with some insane camber with a 15 by nine zero offset wheel. So there you have it. some solid examples of what people are running on their Honda CRXs. Again, don't forget if you have one, add it to the gallery or if you're looking for some wheels, hopefully this helped you out, then you can go pick some up and then you can add it to the gallery so we can get more CRXs and there needs to be more CRXs in the gallery. All right, that's the goal for 2021 moving forward. We're, that's that's our only goal. Other than that, don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com for all your wheels, tires, and suspension needs. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Peace.